Good morning, guys, and welcome to a really messy house. Our house is so messy. Back in the olden days, I never had a messy house, that's a lie. <laughs> Back in the olden days, I worked really hard to clean all the time, and now I work really hard to clean the barn. So, yeah, that is my life. Even my cups are hoarse now. Today's video is all about... I don't even know. Like, how do you know what today's video is going to be about until you get out there and live it? Right? Let's go out there and live it. I'm so sore from holding on. Finally, somebody is sore. My kids are never sore. Show them what else you got yesterday. Sophie pushed herself outside of her comfort zone and she got putty. She wanted slime and so Sam took her to the store and we went to McDonald's. And you should not have to be paid to do an amazing job. But we suck at parenting and we bribe our kids to do what they need to do. Because now, to that, Gabby, no McDonald's for you. And that says, I'll get you McDonald's. No, it, every single time they say, like, they get something for them and I can't have it, they always get it for me too. Well, yeah. So, so yesterday, uh, Gabby rode uh, Storm's brother, um, but then Fiona realized that he was riding in a tr in a rated show this weekend, and she's like, mm, we better just leave him and let him get going good, and for his show, let him rest up for his show, and so then she had to ride Polly, and yeah, that did not go well. She was exactly like me. The last time I rode Polly, I was like, I, oh, I can't do it. I, this horse is driving me crazy because I could not get her to go and it just was really frustrating. You can't get her to go. I couldn't get her to go. You well, could get her to go. Zero like and zero width. That's not true. That's not true. Yeah, that's because your sister cantered her for you before. So she knew what she needed to do. Oh, but how did you feel riding Polly? I hated her so much. Yeah, Gabby hated her too. Like, she's so Gabby... This is how I have to brush my hair. Yeah. Does everyone hate her but me and Shayla? I don't hate her. I love her. I think she's an amazing horse and she has an amazing opportunity for, she gives an amazing opportunity for us to dra to ride a draft horse. I'll buy her. I, I never want a draft horse now, but I do love her. I do really like her. She's I, a Pertron. She's, yeah, Pertrons are not my thing. She's the biggest Pertron. I never connected with Blue and Blue is a Pertron thoroughbred cross. You'd never know that though, because he was slow. Blue was a thoroughbred Percheron cross, and he really took after the Percheron. Holy cow! But anyway, um, so Gabby did not do much in her lesson yesterday because she was like me. I hate this horse. And then, so when we went to McDonald's, Sam said, "No McDonald's for you," but we were just joking because we treat all of our kids equal. Today is the last day of school for my kid, but it is never gonna end because since the girls are homeschooled. Um, it's a long day. Like, yeah, it's a super long day without any structure, even though we have horses and we'll be doing a lot with our horses. We'll be going places. Like, this summer vacation is about to get real. Um, but I am going to require my kids to do writing every single day, Bible yeah, verses. Yeah, it's not fair because it's summer break. It's copy work. It's just copy work. Still. And they, so every, every single night... Every single night during the school year, my girls read for 30 minutes before bed. Do you like reading before bed? I like my book. Best. So what book are you reading? Um, Stacy Gregg. Stacy Gregg. So for any of you guys who are struggling with reading and you hate it and you hate it, just make sure you find the right book. Once you find the right book, you will get into it. Because Sophie is just like her dad. She's not a reading girl, are you? No. I'm more of a watching yeah, she's more of a watching girl. She's not a reading girl, but she is. She reads. Like, the books that she's been reading, show me a Stacey Gregg book here. So, these are the books that she's reading. And Sophie, you have to read this one next. This one is supposed to be the best book. No, I can't. I have to go in order. Yeah, this is a standalone. You can read it at any point. So they will be reading for 30 minutes during the day because in the summer at night, they don't ever go to bed at a normal time. So... Uh, writing and reading and they will continue to do and I, I contemplated math sheets because one of the cornerstones of our um, homeschool journey is times tables like they take forever to learn so my kids do that Gabby has got them but Sophie is still having issues trying to get them and that's okay 24th of June marks one year that we had Stella we've had our girl for a year Sophia cool yeah, today's the first day of summer. So, 
I am working. You didn't have her for a year. I had her. I know. You had her for half a year, and I had her for half a year. No, you had her for a quarter. Yeah, she, she's all of ours. Stella is meant to touch everybody's lives. But anyway, I'm making a video to document the first year of Stella's life so you know that's going to be good because she had an eventful year with us, didn't she? This is my absolute favorite plant on the history of the world. It is a peony bush. And this is the biggest one I've ever had in any house that I've ever lived at. It's huge. And it's one of my favorite colors. I like this dark pink color instead of the light pink color. And these these peony bushes have like the most gorgeous flowers. I cannot wait to cut some of these off and put them in the house. I'm laying down at the compartment. Oh no, I see you only when you're balling. Oh no, I don't even care to die. I see you in a while, cause this time I will choose you. They're best friends! Love it! I used to watch this YouTube channel that was like a daily vlogging channel and it was so amazing to me. It, um, I followed them every single day. I watched every single one of their videos. I felt like I knew everything about them. They were young and new at life and new at, at parenting and they shared all their struggles and they shared all the things that made them unique and individual and they got some hate and over years all that hate kind of built up. They mostly got love but they got some hate and it changed who they were, changed how they vlogged, it changed so much about them. It would have to because sometimes you have to you have to limit what you share to preserve who you are inside because a lot of hate can really wreak havoc on who you are if you let it. And I used to say, oh man, I want to do that. I, I love being a mom. I want to share our story. I want to share our life. And everybody used to say, no, don't do that. And Sam would say, oh, I am not doing that because he is a shy guy and I am not shy. So we moved from our old house um, at the end of August, the beginning of September. And then I decided I was gonna start a vlog. I was gonna start a vlog two months later after we moved, I started a vlog to chronicle our life. And it was hard, it was so hard, it was, it was a struggle. There were days where I was like, I am not gonna do this. And we did it every single day, right from the start. And I was like, I am not gonna continue this. This is crazy. This is hard. And then I would feel bad because once I saw the memories that we were making with our kids, I wanted to keep going, but it was still really hard. And there were some days where Sam pulled me through, even though I'm the one that made him start daily vlogging. There were days when he took over and took care of it all when I was like, I need a break. And there were days where he's like, this is so stupid, why are we doing this? And, and one day I said to God, because I always pray at night, and I said to God, God, are we ever gonna be successful? Are we ever gonna like, is this something we're meant to do? Are we ever gonna be like that other channel? Are we gonna ever achieve what they have achieved? And that night I dreamed that we are gonna be as successful as them, but different, that we are gonna be like them, but different. And I dreamed of the number 3,000. Um, and when I woke up, I said, oh my God, Sam, like, we're gonna be successful. This is, this is gonna work for us. We're meant to do daily videos. We're gonna be as good as this other channel, but we're gonna be different. And something's gonna happen at 3,000. We were at 1,000 subscribers when I had that dream. We were at 1,000 subscribers. And I said, something's gonna be different when we hit 3,000 subscribers. And he's like, mm, okay. Cause he's used to be hearing all my stories and all my crazy dreams that he doesn't have as much faith as me. So we kept going. We kept going and from 1,000 to 3,000 subscribers was such a long journey. It took forever but we made so many amazing memories in that time and even if we never really were successful, who cares? Because we were making memories. And um, I still remember the day like it was yesterday. I, I didn't focus on the fact. Whoa, I didn't want to scare him. Hey Stormy! Hello Stormy Night! I'm riding him. 
Yeah, of course you are. I'll go clean up the poop. So I'm putting it. I love you so much that I'll clean up the poop for you. Are you riding outside or in? Probably outside. All right, I'll go set it up. I'll go set it up. So I remember it like it was yesterday, the day that we hit 3,000 subscribers. I had this energy about me and I wasn't even thinking about us hitting 3,000 subscribers when we hit it that day. We had a yard sale outside our house and we sold all of our kids' toys. Like, our life was changing. Our kids were changing. We didn't need all that stuff anymore. So we had this yard sale and at the end of that day, we hit 3,000 subscribers and you'll no, never... No, 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 no. Close to the end, but it was like in the middle, close to the end. Yeah, in the middle of that day, we hit 3,000 subscribers. Do you remember that day? Yeah, and, and how exciting it was, and like we hit 3,000 subscribers, it was crazy. Yeah. Now we have like 69,000. 65,000? No, 75,000. We have 75,000. I said 69. So, Stella, you're looking fat. So, we hit 3,000 subscribers that day, and our channel exploded it exploded and how we got this energy and this excitement and we started to grow we started to focus on our horses we changed the direction of our channel that day I don't know how it happened it just felt like we were driven and our channel changed and we hit 3,000 subscribers and we have never looked back we are about to hit 100,000 subscribers I want to remember that story and share it with any of you guys who are new Summer is for making your dreams come true. You guys, make your dreams come true this summer. Comment below what your dream is. What do you want to do in this life? What is your passion? What is it about you that you want to share with the world? And tell me your dreams, you guys. When I said my dreams out loud and I shared them with my family and my friends and my kids, they all, almost every single one of them said, don't do it, you're gonna suck. Every single one of them said it to me and I ignored that. I wanna hear what your dreams are and I wanna be there for you. I wanna tell you, you guys can do it. So this summer, it's all about making dreams. Let me see, let me know in the comments below what your dreams are. So the other day when we rode him outside, uh, he we brought him off the field and he was already hot. He was sweating a bit. Yeah. Um, I also forgot to tell you guys that ooh, it's windy in here. Um, the guy is bringing a team to clear his junk out of our property on July the second. So that's coming up like in a week. I'm not gonna lie, I'm like a bit nervous of him now because he he and Fiona said it exactly right yesterday. He is like a scary cat and he comes to hide behind you. That's why he ran me over because he he thinks I'm gonna save him. It's weird. Just waiting for the girls to tack up their horses so we can go to the outdoor arena. I started reading this book yesterday called The Stars Between the Woods or The Woods Between the Stars or something like that. And literally read it the, where the stars meet the woods or something like that. I don't know, but I read it in one day. I read the whole thing yesterday. It was so freaking good. It kept me going like the whole entire time. It was like Holy cow. It's one of those books where you can't stop thinking about it even when you're done. And then so I looked for the author to see if she had any other books and, and I didn't see any, so it's too bad. You got all your secrets. I can seem to move this thing. You're pulling me out and I'm right back I'm on the sideline where you wanted me. I'm by the byway waiting for your leave. I don't want to fall in love like this But I can't help to fall for you repeatedly I don't want to seem to shake Oh no Like I'm sudden but I'm steady Oh no And they tell me to move on Cause I deserve more But still I want to choose you We got so much mail today. 
All right, we are home. Sam, actually, we didn't even tell you. Sam and I went out to do some shopping. I need some summer clothes that what? fit me. So we went to do that, and we checked the mailbox, and we got mail. So we're going to show it to you guys now. First Paper. off, we got a letter by Airmail. I don't want to share her letter, but it's this cute, adorable paper. that, And this, is, this letter is from England. This, is, this letter is from Karen. She's 50. She has three sons, Ryan, Zach, and Kyle. Karen, that's so crazy because I have three sons. All this, almost exactly the same age as yours. And my middle son is named Kyle. Um, I also have a beautiful daughter, Alicia, who's 22. And she has a gorgeous little boy called Sebastian. Okay, so I, I'm not sure I'm supposed to read this letter. Not everybody likes their letter read online, but I just wanted to tell you that this woman, who is the same age as me and has the same kids as me, except for she's missing a Gabby, um, or maybe a Sophie. She's missing one daughter. She said that the reason that she decided to write us is because of Sophie. And when people say that stuff to me, I get goosebumps. And the reason I get goosebumps is because there are people out there who love my kids almost as much as I love my kids and who are proud of my kids. And that makes me feel unbelievably amazing, amazed. Um, she just needed to write and tell us how proud she felt and she wanted to give her a big hug. Um, and in particular, she's most proud of the fact of how well you ride Finn and how brave you are. So we, this lady wrote a letter because of you. Thank you. I didn't read the rest of her letter because I don't know if she wants me to read it. But Karen, I just want to thank you for this letter. It is beautiful. Like, absolutely beautiful. I loved it. I loved every single thing that you said. I love the part where you said that Finn nibbling my butt and my back and grooming me was the funniest thing. It was the funniest thing. And I love that about him. And thank you. Honestly, these letters are what yeah. it's all about for me. It's a, it, it makes YouTube so worth it. Thank you so much. I made the girls wait to open the rest of the letters while I read Karen's letter and now they're impatient. All right, Gabby, what do you got, girlfriend? Who's... Halter equestrian apparel. Halter equestrian apparel. Ooh, you say that because you do it better than me. Ooh, Ooh. that's a bag. Let's see, let's see the logo. Halter Equestrian Apparel, and it's got a really nice bag. I love Quit. the colors. Ooh, a card. She's like, what is it? What is it? Come on, open it up. Well, oh, she's excited. Cookie just wants all the love. <laughs> My dog. All right. Oh. Business cards. Love it. Oh, they're t-shirts. T-shirts. All right, so their card says, Laura, Gabby, and Sophie, thanks for sharing your passion for horses and your inspirational messages with us and your other subscribers. We love watching your videos. Hope you enjoy your new comfy tees from one horse fanatic family to another. Whoa, nice. Right, so look at this. That is gorgeous. These are equestrian shirts, you guys. Sophia. Perfect for summer. Love it. I think we'll probably go by sizes. So this one is probably Sophia's. Love it. It's got a horseshoe. I love that shirt. Wow, let's see. I like them because they're long and we're tall. Gotta go change. She's like, oh, I'm putting this on. I love it, Gabby. That actually looks like you on Storm. Actually, kind of looks more like you on Finn. That is gorgeous. Finn, why? Wow. No, but his mane is that color. And then this one, I got a, I got a pink one, you guys. And it says incurably, incurably equestrian. I love it. They're soft, huh? Mm -hmm. Aren't they soft? Yeah. Wow, that was the fastest change you've ever done. Oh my gosh, I love it. I absolutely, here, let's show the front. It is gorgeous. Sophie, do you love having an equestrian shirt? Yes. We do not have very many equestrian, equestrian shirts, do we? It's so warm. It's, it's beautiful. I love it. Oh my gosh, their tag is freaking hilarious. Sam, you're going to love this tag. It says, for best results, machine wash cold, inside out, tumble dry, low, do not iron. They all say that, right? For worst results, drag through a puddle behind the horse, lay flat to dry in fields with mares. <laughs> Lovingly designed apparel. 
by horse families. HalterEquestrian.com. Love it. Now you can use another saddle pad. You could actually wear, do you have a black saddle pad? Now you're going to have to get a black saddle pad I so that you can match. I love it. Thank, Thank you, Halter Equestrian. I'll put all the links for the Halter Equestrian um, company down below so that you guys can get your imagine you guys all got a shirt and we all had matching shirts all the women out there could get incurably equestrian everybody who's on team Sophie could get the horseshoe shirt and everybody who's on team Gabby could get the horse riding shirt that would be so fun like a mountain but then like yeah so super cool so we got a letter here there's a person hanging on with tape ooh a letter and it's got a person a person hanging on the letter <laughs> I'm gonna take her off because that looks painful. Yeah. It looks painful. Yeah, poor girl. Oh, this letter is from Allie. So let's read about Allie. She says that her name is Allison, but everyone calls her Allie. She's 19 years old and she's been following us guys for a few years. And you guys helped me through a lot. From my family's house fire to my stress and depressed and depression being at college away from my family. I hope you enjoy the presents that I hand painted myself. Alright, let's see it. So the present. This one's for Gabby. Aww. Laura. What? That's amazing. Family. Uh, Dad can open the family. Aww. You're so thoughtful. <gasps> oh my gosh. She hand painted it herself. Oh, I got two things. I like her name. Her first name and her last name go really good together. I love it. I love the wrapping paper. It is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Oh, Stella, look. Yeah, look. No, look at her face marking. That's yeah. I know it's Stella. Yeah, it is Stella. I can tell. Look at the butt. Like, when people paint our horse, like, that gives me goosebumps. She is gorgeous. I like yours too. Yours? Oh my <laughs> god, I want one that looks like that. I got storm. You got, uh oh. <laughs> You got Finn! Absolutely adorable! Let's see. But this is Willow. Yeah, Willow. Oh, so it's you Willow. got, so Gabby got a gorgeous. This is, is this like her horse? Yeah, I think it is. Oh, well, let's see. It no, is. her horse is named Ninja. I haven't finished reading the letter yet. Yeah, that's Ninja. Right? No, she Ninja's not a paint. Oh. I think you just got a really good looking paint. Let's see it. And I got a foal. Oh, and a foal. And then that's Willow. And then this one's Storm. Are you sure this is not? Are you? Sure, this does not look like Willow. Look at that Willow's is Willow. Face. Oh, that oh. is Willow. Oh, this is Willow. She's adorable. So, so Sophie Here's also. Finn. Sophie also Here's got. Finn's wife. Just wait, Sophie also got this little foal. Yeah. Or Gabby also got this little foal. Oh, look at that. Adorable. She got the socks right, too. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing when people pay that much attention. Here's Finn. Finn's, um, and he has a blanket wife. on. Ha! And then here's their rider. And then here's his foal! Aww. It's obvious who she likes mm -hmm. more. <laughs> Oh. He has a blanket. You guys, we are such a competitive look, family. See, like I can't even tell you. On, see, look at all of them. He has yeah. a blanket on, and he's framing. They're amazing. This horse is like stunning. Like I want a horse that looks like that. Super flashy. It does look like Storm, though, but kind of. like, oh, adorable. It, it it does I know but I really love my Stella like I'm gonna put this on my dresser in my room or I'm gonna put it on my night table oh so she sent instructions the two sets of the mare and the foals that she thought the girls would like so they could switch them I just put their name on the set they would like better um she said she's been riding for 10 years I don't own a horse but I do ride a handsome gelding named Ninja but when I was six my dad had a Belgian horse named Sassy I can't wait to see what the show season brings the girls. I would love to get to know you guys better. Um, she says, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Oh, she is also day by day vlogs underscore edit 1787. Thanks, Allie. Thank you guys so much for all your letters and all your packages. They say that every single time, but really, honestly, it means a lot. And uh, I can't wait to wear my, you ever gonna see me in a pink shirt. That is it for today. We will see you guys tomorrow. Holding in a bag full of goods and needs I need a night like this. And don't forget to make 
sure to hit that subscribe button down below.